It's a tough job, but someone's got to do it. Becky Huber has been fostering a group of adorable kittens for the past two months after they were found by the Okanagan Humane Society. The kittens came from a colony of 60 found on Leithhead Road in Rutland. The Okanagan Humane Society, a registered charity that is volunteer run, says over the past few months they have seen an influx of stray cats and kittens. People leave them behind when they move on their rents. Um, people just can't take care of them anymore and they're, and they're left to fend for themselves and lots of people just aren't spay and neutering their animals, which is something that's very important that they need to do. We're not government funded. We don't have a shelter per se, so the fosters basically are the shelter. Right now we have over 100 cats in care, so that, that's a lot of that's a lot of fostering that we need to find places for these cats to go on their way to the journey of being in their forever home. I love fostering. I love it. I've been doing it since August and I don't think I'll ever be able to stop whether my husband wants me to or not. Um, I really think that more people should do that and open their homes. They're really not a lot of work and it's so very rewarding when you get to find them a home and, 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 and know that they're going to be taken care of. The BCSPCA says their shelters are also overwhelmed with a large number of cats. From June 20th to the 30th, the BCSPCA is offering 50% off adult cat adoption fees in an attempt to free up space for new incoming animals. SPCA General Manager Lori Chordick says shelters are overwhelmed with cats as they've been responding to many cases this year where up to 100 cats are being rescued at one time from hoarding situations. She says COVID, the rising cost of living and mental health challenges are all playing a role in the increased need for help. For Castanet News, I'm Alison Earhart in Kelowna.